Hey guys, how's it going? Apex here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install and use PCSX2, which is a PlayStation 2 emulator for PCs. I've also done a similar tutorial on how to configure EPSXE, which is a PlayStation 1 emulator, so you can check that video out. Its link is in the description if you want. Anyway, to get started, click on the first link in the description, which will take you to the official download page of PC PCSX2, and then just download the latest stable version for your operating system. So once that's been downloaded, go to your downloads folder and you'll have uh, the PCSX2 EXE setup. And for me, version 1.4 is the latest as of April 2016, so I'm going to double click to open that up. And here we can choose the components of the setup that we want installed. I'm going to keep everything except the start and desktop menu shortcuts. I'd recommend having the same choices as me. Click on next and then now we can select where we want the uh, files and folders to be installed. I'm just going to keep it as my C drive. You can change it to wherever you would like and it will just take a couple of moments now to complete the installation process. And here it states up top that the installation has been complete. So we can close out of that and locate where we installed PC, PCSX2. So my pro program files. And then here it, it has its own dedicated folder. And then I'm going to find the application file. Double click to run it. And here it opens up. And if you actually go to config and then plug in slash BIOS selector, it'll show that you don't have a BIOS ROM which is necessary to actually run the emulator however you know you only want to get the BIOS if you actually own a PlayStation 2 as you know it's technically not legal to be using a BIOS and using this emulator unless you actually own a PlayStation 2 however if you do own a PlayStation 2 like me you can click the second link in the description which will take you to the download page of the BIOS files and it will come in a folder like this and then you'll have all of the required files and so what I'm gonna do now is go to my documents under my C drive and here it will have a PC SX2 folder that it will that the program will have created and then you can double click that and go to BIOS and as of now it's actually empty but you can go to now the BIOS folder that that you were able to download through my link and you'll have all the files here select them all and just drag them into this new folder and you'll be good to go there and now if you go to config and plug in slash BIOS selector you can select the BIOS ROM version that you want I'm gonna select the latest US version and click OK and then now what we can do is actually find our game and run it again you should only be playing games that you actually own for your PlayStation 2 and if you're not actually sure where to find the ISO files for the different games that you want to play you can uh, look look on websites like muparadise.me and actually there are lots of other websites that provide the download uh, links for different games and so I'm just gonna locate where I saved my game and now if I right click on the game and go to open with you'll see since it's an ISO file a bunch of different applications will want to open it up and you won't have the emulator as an option so you're gonna choose another app and scroll down and go to more apps and look for another app on this PC and then you're gonna to want to locate the place where PCSX2 was actually installed so again this is my local C drive for me and then program files x86 and then we have our emulator folder here and then our application for the emulator over here and click open and now as you can see the game is launching and I can expand the window to actually play the game but that's going to mess up 
my recording. Again, you can configure a controller as well. So if you have a PS3 controller, you can configure that an Xbox 360, any, any other controller that is compatible with your PC, you'll be able to use that in game and configure it within the emulator. And with that, you should be able to play PS2 games on your PC just like me. Now, if you have any questions or issues with the software, let me know down in the comments and I'll do my best to help you guys out. And if you did find the video helpful, please consider hitting the like button. You can also consider hitting the subscribe button if you want to stay tuned for more high quality tech content as I upload one to two videos a week with a guaranteed upload every Friday. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.